Hey there, everybody. Thet here, and welcome back to Thet Plays RimWorld Alpha 16. So, how is our colony looking? How is Thet's Wild Ride, you might be asking. If you're not asking that, you're not asking the right questions, man. You might be asking the right question. You might have better questions than the ones I'm asking. I don't know. But anyway, that's the question I'm asking. I think the answer is our colony is awesome. Our colony is so good right now that if it were any better, it would probably not actually be a real thing that could exist in real life. Ignoring the part this is a game set in a fictional reality where we are, you know, thousands of years in the future. And, um, you know, we have kind of quasi-space travels, quasi-faster-than-like travel, I think. I forget the story, actually. I read it a while ago. I can't remember if there's, like, there is faster-than-light travel, but it's super hard to to actually realize, or if there's not any faster-than-light travel. I don't recall. Oh, well. It is what it is. And it is pretty good, actually. Yeah, let's see how we're doing. Um, I did put Young over here, our uh, perpetually grumpy Young. In fact, I should name him Grumpy. Um... He is on cleaning duty, full-time, which I think was one of the best ideas I've had in a while because he really needs to do cleaning. Our colony looks like crap, and we could use a colony that did not. You know what I mean? All right, I kind of want to expand this dumping stockpile, too. Um, I've been eyeing it for a while, if you probably noticed, so I'm going to go ahead and actually do that. I'm going to expand it down pretty much all the way around uh, this here. Just turn that all in the dumping stockpile zone and then not have this be dumping stockpile or this. And they can dump all the way around there. That'll let us hold a lot more. Great. Psychotic days. So much for, for the cleaning getting done. But, yeah, we can actually clear up some of this space here. And I could even put in some slate tile to make it go around and reach up here. But I don't think that's a very big requirement. I think as long as we have it just a little bit cleaner here, we'll be okay. All of that will get hauled eventually. In fact, we'll go ahead and set it to be hauled right now. Again, just to pretty it up, make it so that uh, people can move more effectively across this area. Because we do want them to be able to move into our kill box zone, at the very least. And I could, if I wanted to, the heater is broken down. Not that big a deal, even if it's in here. It's plenty warm outside. And we're going to be making some hats soon, too. Yeah, cowboy hats. Jova is on it. Jova, how you doing, hun? You have 12 crafting. You're pretty awesome. I do say so myself. So, yeah, we're going to get some hats made. People will wear those. They'll feel better in the summer months. So, yeah, being able to switch between hats in the summer and also being able to switch in the winter, that's going to be really good for us. He's got to get over the psychite withdrawal, man. It's killing him. Not literally, but... Eventually, he's going to go nutso butso, and uh, someone's going to put a bullet in his head, and that will probably kill him. Just saying. It'll probably be Triple Strike or Silvermane, because, well, S Triple Strike has the best gun, but Silvermane probably has the best aim by default. So, actually, that's hard to, de to determine. I mean, Triple Strike, yeah, he, he is missing a finger, but he has a bionic eye, whereas Silvermane has two bionic arms. So, you know, Silvermane definitely has the most stable shot. But Triple Strike has the best, you know, best eye for accuracy, by far. How's this area looking here? 88? That's not that bad. It's not bad at all. Uh, we, you know, we made a bunch of sculptures. Let's see. Four of them have been made. One of them is good. Another one is poor. Another one is normal. And another one is poor. This one's made out of marble. Nifty. And this one's made out of sandstone. Okay, I... Forgot to change these, but that's okay. Whatever. You know what? That one's actually pretty good. Black Mesa, huh? We could install that somewhere if we really wanted to, but I don't know if I care to. Starvation. Young is starving. Well, he should stop being a dip. Go eat some food before you freaking pass out, which is actually going to happen soon. God, addiction sucks. Trust me. Talk to Lawrence. He'll tell you all about it. I would expect them to be friends, but they are not. <laughs> Simply because, uh, you know, Lawrence had to get over addiction, too. But, you know, that's not how friendship works, necessarily, so it is what it is. Let's go ahead and just uh, claim all of this and tear it down. 
Might as well get some free, uh, free limestone while we can. Yeah, I thought that was going to expand the home area to there, but it did not. So, coolly cool. We put up a ground-penetrating scanner over here, which is good. Remember, it does take up 1,500 power, so we do want to tear it down relatively soon. But I figured we would put down some some uh, more deep drills, which are under production. Oh, wow. Okay, Pirate Merchant from the Hatmian Dominion. Um, Renyik is back. Hey, Sylvain's ex-wife. I'm sure he's thrilled. But uh, Pirate Merchant's pretty good. And some cargo pods have dropped at the exact same time, containing some alpaca wool. Don't really care about that, but uh, yeah, it's nice to have the merchants. Pirate merchants is pretty good, too. Uh, we could even buy a person, maybe free them from slavery if we get the opportunity. So, we have six components. We'll spend three of them here, and we can run um, the power to it. And we could also... And that's going to be steel. And it, it it's kind of what we want right now, is the steel. So... And we'll put one right here. It, it is going to be in the way there, but that's fine. Alright, let's let the merchants come to us. Lilith, your social is 12, and Emmy's is 11. So Lilith is just a tiny bit better at the negotiating part of things. Heart, I really wish you could do more, because I see you going idle a lot. But I guess it is what it is. All of our animals are fully tamed. So, oops, I don't know why I went to research... We really don't need to research anything. As soon as and spring's almost done, so we're almost ready to uh, we're almost ready to do some. That'll do that. Do some caravan work. Should be interesting. You guys from the Hatmian Dominion? The Hatmian Dominion, the Outlander Union? Because I don't know. Seems like you're a lot of you are wearing like rags and tatters. Young has finally gotten over his problems. So he's going to go sleep instead of eat, because that's intelligent. Well, he did eat. Okay, good, good, good. He'll be fine, then. Totally joy-deprived. Again, his fault, not mine. Uh, Lilith, trade with Jack. And don't buy his monkey, please. Oh, it's awesome that he has a monkey. As tempting as it is. This person is naked. This person's just wearing pants. How is this someone who's supposed to be going with you on a freaking mission, dude? I don't know. Why are you all squeezing down this corridor? What the hell is wrong with you? All right. Sell some chicks. Uh, we'll keep the hens. Yeah, we have nine hens now, which is fine. And we don't want to buy any animals, although we could buy a male and female monkey. How long do they live? What's their life expectancy? 30? This one's 18? Yeah. More than I thought, actually. Leaving its hands free to do other things. Well, it's probably smart. Yeah, advanced intelligence. But I don't really want to train a monkey. As cool as that sounds, we have plenty of animals who are well-trained. Ah, that's why she doesn't have anything but pants. She's a slave. We could buy one, but oh my god, they're aged. They are so aged. Beautiful, bloodlust, and gay. Sounds like a name of a great freaking musical. Uh, Prostifo, Brawler, Bloodlust. Apparently they have a lot of bloodlusting characters. Staggeringly ugly Prostophobe. Not really... I'm not a fan of any of these guys, so... Sorry. One component. They don't have any components for us, huh? That's too bad. Got medicine, way -o, you wake up. None of this is good. Could get another bionic eye. Tempting. Very tempting, actually. Yeah, we'll get it. Another bionic eye for us. We're going to sell some of this clothing that sucks. Just the destroyed or tattered clothing, please. The good stuff. We'll try to keep, although that um, cowboy hat's pretty poor. We should keep some of the... Nah, we don't need to keep the toques. Now that I think of it, we will just remake the toques every season. It will allow our tailors to continue to gain experience, and it will uh, basically make sure that we are wearing good quality clothing pretty much all year round. So we lost 900 bucks, but what did we gain out of it? Well, we gained a bionic eye. And that's it. And not a great price. But it is a great item. Alright. Do it. Hey, Lilith. Go ahead and uh, screw yourself, I guess. Because you'll never do hauling. Emmy. Playing billiards. Art. Viewing art. Uh, triple strikes got the eye. Okay. So, we're going to give some new eyeballs to someone. And I'm thinking... 
Well, first of all, Lilith needs an eye. Oh, no, wait. Yeah, Lilith does need an eye. But it's still there. Even though it does, it has brought her sight down. I don't know. She seems like she'd be a good candidate for it, especially since she has a sniper rifle. And decent shooting skill. Like, I think everyone is around 11. And then you got Dismas there at 13. But, uh, yeah, Lilith needs it. Might as well give it to her. Install a bionic eye on her right eye, please. Give her the good medicine to do so. And who, then who's going to get the other one? I think it's going to be Triple Strike in his left eye. Give him the Glitter World medicine to do so. Extreme Break Risk on Young. No surprise there. Who is doctoring this? Is it going to be Triple Strike can do it? Lilith is good enough. So is Silvermane. Triple Strike is the ideal one, but his skill is actually not high enough for it right now. Or, I mean, it is. What am I talking about? His skill is high enough for it. It's, um, he's just going to be distracted. He won't be able to do it right away. Silvermane, why are you doing it over here? Uh, I guess this doesn't affect surgery chance. Yeah, the bed that he's sleeping in does not affect the chance of surgery being successful. He installed the eye while he was sleeping. He never even woke up. So now, Triple Strike is by far our best doctor. Like, nobody comes close to Triple Strike. Because two bionic eyes is amazing. He's also going to be one of our best shots, which is, means it's very good that he has a Masterwork Assault Rifle. So, good on him. And then, of course, the uh, other one who will be worked on is going to be Lilith. And Silvermane looks like he wants to do this surgery as well. We have plenty of um, Glitter World Medicine, so I guess this is fine. And done. She has a Bionic Eye as well. Which replaces her bad eye, which means she has enhanced eyesight. As opposed to uh, poor eyesight. Hot dang. Back to uh, herbal medicine for both of you. Good job, team. Our, our colony is looking better and better every day. Young, how you doing? Triple strike and walk again. He has two bionic eyes now. He can see things that you can't unsee. Just because his eyes are amazing. Okay, Young. How? Wow, your mood is so bad. It's getting there. He's getting up there. But he's joy to... Oh, he has like zero joy. Looking at art now. Okay, his joy's going up. Going up fast. Very impressive dining room. He should be comfortable in here as well. He's just staring the hell out of this art here. He loves shape number four, man. Made by art. Heart. Sorry. You know, Alpha Beaver being hunted by heart as the Alpha Beaver relaxes. I mean, come on. How can you not love that piece of art? That's actually going to improve his mood up to the point where he'll be okay and to clean. That is actually amazing. All right, and he's going to clean. Lilith is now up and running as well. She has two good eyes. Still can't walk as fast as we would want, but hey, two good eyes means very good aim, which means that sniper is worth all the more in her hands. So yeah, if you ask me, that was amazing. What's not amazing is our lack of any kind of food. Like, we have spare food, which is great, but there's nothing around to hunt right now. Like, there's literally nothing around here to hunt. Alright, and we could use more... We could use more harvest. So, harvest these. It's gonna take a while. It's worth it, though. Oh, wow. That's a lot to harvest. Yeah, get those berries. And these are growing fast, too. So, we're gonna have, we're gonna have plenty of veggies soon. It's just the uh, meat... The meat portion of it is uh, still... Not nearly as good as we want it to be. Solar flare. Shut down all electrical devices. So much for cooking. Not going to get done anytime soon. Not the worst thing in the world, though. As long as we don't get a raid at the same time, we should be just fine. Lilith, John, and Hart have nothing to do right now. Because they won't haul. So with that in mind, Lawrence is over here cutting down berries. Mm. You know what? I talked about this before. Okay, we do have a make component order going. I think I'm going to make, like, a couple of zones outside of our base where um, we can have turrets. Kind of like in just little kill zones. Is this? I'm curious about this. Is this dangerous or is this just here? Let's see if anyone takes care of this by themselves. Emmy will do it. Come on, Emmy. 
just want to know if there is anything here to be aware of. Uh, man, this is a long time for our freezer to be non-functioning now that I think of it. Uh, nope, looks like there's going to be nothing here. All well and good. Go ahead and deconstruct all of this then. There we go. Remove the flooring. Get ourselves some free slate. Do the same over here. No, oh, actually, we need a uh, roof. Really? Is this place roofed? No. Okay. All right. Well, then. Deconstruct. And tear up the floor. We could put, like, a... Uh, pull this out, too. We could put a turret nest right here. So what I'm thinking, and I read about this here, you have this set up like so. In fact, why am I doing it like this? There's literally a planning thing for this. All these, please. So what I'm thinking, plan, is you have a cross here, and you have a turret on each corner. I think that's it. Yeah, because then the turrets will have, like, maximum range around it to shoot. You... In most places, depending on the distance, three turrets will be able to shoot at you at one time. And, you know, if we have it out here, it's not like anything that's going to ruin things for us as far as if it gets destroyed. Yeah, who cares? We can even put some of these around in our um, more vulnerable areas, too. Like, out here would be a great place for one. We need more components for that first, though. All right. Solar flare is ending. Good, good, good. Lots of berries, which is also good. No meat. We did officially run out of meat for now, which is bad, bad, bad. But uh, do we have any animals to slaughter? We have a couple. I mean, it's meat. And that is what we need. Got a wolf over here. Go ahead and kill it. I'm thinking, depending on who tries to hunt it, it will be destroyed before it ends up being a danger to us. Could be wrong. Very well might be, but who knows. Just, you know, if, it, if it's alive, can we make it not alive? That'd be cool. There we go. Alright. Just a bunch of hunting to get done. We'll see if anyone starts hunting this um, wolf. I do have Dismas set to prefer construction and deconstruction over hunting, which I think was a good move. Not 100% sure. Uh, we got some... Deep drilling going on, too. Don't forget about that. This one still has plenty below it. This one still has some below it. Wouldn't say plenty, but enough. We'll see what's over here soon, too. And for these areas, we probably will. Um, actually, we don't need to enclose these. What do we lose if we lose a deep drill? Production. We lose three components at 100. That's not that bad. Especially if there's, like, components under here. That will be actually, like, amazing. So, you know what? Build a deep drill here. We'll find out what's there. Build one here. We'll find out what's there. And if it's good, we connect power to it, and we're happy. If it's not good, we, you know, don't. We just deconstruct it again. Ismus is working on that as a priority. A heater is broken down, so there goes one of our, uh... <sighs> there goes one of our drills, probably, right away. Lilith is constructing over here. Nobody's working on this. John would normally be working on it. He's eating. Okay. Harvesting is getting done. That's actually a good reason to be distracted. You know what? I will definitely not complain about harvesting getting done. Problem is our animals, man. We're starting to run low on the uh, fine meals. And actually we have... Yeah, we need 40 to be considered in the safe zone. So we're definitely lower on those than I want to be. I mean, what were you doing? Well, you're relaxing now, but what were you doing? So remains doing some hunting. Still looking for, like, pack animals, something like that, that we can hunt. To bring us plenty of food. But right now, it's just the little things. The little things in life, which are not giving us much to go off of. Yeah, some more rats. And some hares. Oh, lots of hares. Yeah, plenty of little rabbits. I mean, it's not great, but it's something. Summer has begun. Hot diggity darn. Probably gonna hold off on the caravan now, though. Until we have more food. I did not think... I didn't think we'd run out of food like this. At least not this quickly. 
So now it has me thinking I need another grow zone. Like, we're just going to need another one. Yeah, right? Then we just expand it down to here. And then we uh, hide the zone, and then we put in... Eh, more strawberries is tempting, because they grow so quickly. Corn. I think corn is more filling, though. Nutrition, 0 0.03, or 0 0.3. Uh, potatoes, 0 0.2. Corn does take longer, but 0.18 on rice. 0.2 on strawberries. So strawberries are worth more than um, rice, but corn is worth the most. So we'll grow more corn. More corn, please. That'll be good. It'll work for us for right now, at least. All right, extreme break risk on young. I mean, who else? <laughs> Literally, who else would it be? Come on now. Move all this flooring when you get a chance. Make me feel good, make me happy. I appreciate it when you guys work to make me happy. All right. We have a decent amount of veggies right now, which is good. We probably still have a lot up here that are set to be harvested, which is also good. But I understand why our guys would want to um, prioritize the stuff inside of our base first. All right. You know, I could... I could get some more stuff done here to prioritize what our guys do when they wake up and stuff. Because right now they have, like, every, anything and then work. I could make them work, like, certain hours of the day. Like, 8 to 18. That would be, what, 5 hours? Or 5 hours, really? Really, that 10 hours? Yeah. 8 to 6. And then they could just use Joy for the rest of their time or something. I'm kind of curious as to how that would work for our colony. Would we be more efficient then? Or less? If fire. I'm going to try it. All right. Looks like the fire did get taken care of. I'm going to try it for most of us. Just to see how that works out. It's kind of, I'm kind of dictating what, how their life is going to be right now, but... You know what? Sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do. And giving them like three hours a day to dictate their own emotions should be okay. And of course, lights out at night. This might work. We'll try it. And then joy between six and seven every day, please. In fact, we'll have uh, Silvermane join in on that joy. And then that 21... Actually, you know what? 21 will be just complete free time. All right, we'll try that. So they get a little bit of free time still. But for the most part now, their their day is a little bit planned out. Right now, it's working time. Everyone should be doing something that helps our colony in some way, shape, or form until hour 20. Oh, wow. Okay. Well, first of all, Young has gone berserk. Good to know. Poison ship landed pretty much in the same place the last one did. What the hell? All right, well, priority one is to do something about Young. And I think Hayes is going to be the one to do that. Hayes, go ahead and solve our Young problem. Good thing you have a, uh, you have a shield. Okay, on draft, grab all the stuff. You got punched on the, in the torso. And then somebody will rescue him, I'm sure. And now we got to deal with another stupid ship. So, I'm, this one is far enough away where I feel safe uh, using our mortars to full capacity. So, I think that's exactly what I'm going to do. I mean, I could put out the uh, turrets again, which was zany and fun, but we don't have components right now. So, I'm going to wait till the next day, wait till we get some healing done, and then we're going to mortar on up, son! And we're not going to use the uh, incendiary mortars since they're not going to do anything here. Young lacks a ranged weapon. You know what? How about you just not hunt? You like hunting, I get that. But don't hunt. <laughs> don't hunt, you dingus. It is hour 23, everyone should be asleep. Except for Silvermane. Alright. 
Silvermane right now currently has a lot more free time, although he is he does have our joy time as well. I'm thinking he has less sleep hours than everyone else, but he doesn't seem to have had any problems with it. So I'm wondering now if maybe I should get, have him work while everyone else is sleeping. And then he, get, he can have his joy at the end of his quote-unquote day. And then he has more free time in general. Just because of his, uh... Just because of the way he does things. ay ay, ay. Lack of meat, man. Alright. Silvermane, what are you doing? Hunting a rat. Okay. Alright. So this thing needs to get taken care of. As soon as you're done with that rat, can you, like, get into our colony? What was that? Something else happened and I missed it. Okay. So Silvermane's coming back. Everyone is inside right now, right? Looks like it. Except Roscoe. You know what? Animals. All of our animals stay in our animal area, please. Especially Bianca. And we are going to have some people man some turrets. Aeus, man this mortar. Emmy. Earn, actually, should Hayes and Emmy be the two that do it? They do cooking, too. I need someone to make... Uh, oh, no, wait. They're not going to be able to make... Yeah. Yeah, go ahead and man the mortar. And let's have someone else chop down some more chips. There we go. Let's see. It's 8 o'clock now, so it's working hours for everyone. Who else? Lawrence, you, are, you don't do fighting, so you won't do that at all. Um... I guess we'll have Dismas be the other person. Yeah, Dismas, man, the other mortar. Shell load. What are you shooting at something? You just looking around. Anyway, select force target. Here we go. Select force target. There you go. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, how many do we have down here? 108 mortar shells is pretty good. We're going to speed two, I think, for most of this. Just to keep an eye on things. Guys, please. <laughs> Come on now. I know they're fairly inaccurate, but one of them should have hit by now. There we go. Okay, now we can see what they have. All right. Everyone. Everyone on our team here, at least, needs to stay in our home area for the time being. Until I say otherwise, if I decide to say, they, uh, say otherwise, excuse me. We're going to get rid of the poison ship part first, I think. Let that be the first thing we shoot at. If, any, if the centipedes get destroyed at the same time, more power to us. Ooh, wow. We can repair that. Okay, another hit to the ship part. That's good. How are we on mortars? We're still really good on mortars. Guys, you know, at least try to hit accurately. Come on. You, you almost hit this sculpture and destroyed it. That was a good one. That was a bad one. That destroyed one of the sculptures, actually. All right. One of them's coming in to fight. And it went down quickly, which is great. And I think all of them are coming in now. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Stop. Everyone stop. We need our fighters to be in position now. Silvermane, you need to wake up. Sorry, buddy. Lilith, why are you in such a bad mood? Frostophobe has a bionic body part. Oh. I didn't even realize that. Only they give me a choice. Well, you could have died. I mean, that is technically a choice. I guess you could have made it. Sorry for not giving you that choice. And Jova, Jova does have the EMP grenades, which could be really useful. So we're gonna have we'll put Jova over here. All right, we should be able to take this out with no problem. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! Yes, hey yes, hey you're good, man. You're good. <laughs> yeah, that's gonna be a permanent mood debuff to her. But it is what it is. This is the hand we've been dealt. Actually, you can move back. Yeah. That will work. Alright. Row! 
Perfect. Excellent. Keep it up, guys. Yeah! We actually can't shoot. I mean, this is good for our... Uh... Yeah, just go ahead and undraft, Jova. There we go. All right. I would say this is pretty darn good. I'd say this is doing exactly what we need it to. And, of course, we will be able to shut these guys down. And then one more. Come on, guys. You can do it. There you go. Done and done. Everyone's going to walk away here for now. Uh, you know what? I mean, I, I appreciate you all, but we, we'll get rid of the uh, poison ship too, please. <laughs> Just go ahead and get this thing out of our freaking colony. Or away from our freaking colony, I guess it would be. There we go. Now you can undraft. Good job, team. All right. Excellent day. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We'll go ahead and tear those down. Uh, Young is in a mental daze. Could have been a lot worse. Not complaining. Lilith is like all torn up about the... Oh, no. Also very tired, joy deprived, and a little pain. So I guess there are plenty of other reasons for her to be unhappy. So, yeah. I mean, I could take Lilith's eye back out. Maybe if we get a regular eye, I can replace the uh, bionic one with a regular one and give the bionic eye to... Uh, well, Triple already has two, so Silvermane would be our next choice. I mean, Silvermane's already becoming the bionic wonder anyway. What is under here? Steel? And there's one more out here somewhere. Where did I put that darn thing? Didn't I put another one out here? Did you see where it w the uh, stuff would be? Am I going insane? I did, didn't I? It says two deep drills. One down there. Three deep drills. One over here. I could have sworn I put another one there. In order for another one out, but... Eh, I guess I am just going nuts. Alright then. So we know there's steel out here. Which we don't really need. So we're just going to deconstruct this. Anyway... That is going to be it for this episode of That Plays RimWorld Alpha 16. Young is still nuts, but he's getting over his psychic addiction, I believe. He's so close. He's so close. He's almost going to be in a good mood. Um, we kind of messed up on Lilith because she doesn't like the idea of having a bionic body part, but we'll, we'll consider that um, as things go on. Maybe we'll be able to fix her up there, but our defense is on point. Our plants are growing. We have over a thousand veggies again. Meat's still on the uh, skimpy side, but we're going to work on it. But that is going to be it for this episode of That Plays Room World Alpha 16. If you are enjoying the series, make sure to go ahead and let me know by giving me a like. And if you haven't already, subscribe for more. I know you know how to do it, and I appreciate it when you do. And that is going to be it for this episode, guys. Thank you very much once again for watching That Plays Room World Alpha 16. I'll see you in the next episode.